When you're working with blocks and tool palettes, what you want to be able to do is export those tool palettes to other people within your organization or on your project team. So what you would do is you would create a drawing full of your blocks and save it in a known location. That way, when you create your palette from those blocks, it only points to that drawing with all the blocks on it and not any live project or organizational drawings. So we go to the View tab on the ribbon. We're in the 2D Drafting and Annotation Workspace, Palettes panel, and click on Tool Palettes. Now, there's the blocks palette that we created. That's already in the drawing. It's there, and it's ready to go. Now. What I need to look at here is the ability to work with these particular blocks and other people on my team need to work with them as well. The trick is once you've got the tool palettes open, it's a right click and you need to go to customize palettes. Once I go to customize palettes, there's a list of all of my palettes on the left in this one here. There's a list of all my palettes and there's my blocks palette there. I deliberately put it in capitals so that you could distinguish it from the other standard ones that come with AutoCAD. Now it may be that you need a new palette group for that one. So let's have a look at that. Let's minimize all of these. You can see all the little minus signs. Make sure you click on all the minus signs so that you can close all of them down. It's a lot easier to see your groups then. And then trust me, there's lots of groups there. So just keep minimizing all of them. Slide up on the slider bar there. Minimize all of the palette groups like that so that you can see now that there's all the groups. Right click here, a new group. Now that new group has appeared underneath annotation and design. That's no problem. We're going to call it blocks one. Put it in capital so that you can see it like that. Okay, make sure it says blocks one, enter. Then what you can do is you can just drag it, click and drag and take it above annotation and design like that. There we go. There's our blocks one. There's blocks there. Select it, click and drag and just drop it just underneath blocks one there. And blocks is now part of blocks one. Let me show you what I mean. If I click here now, can you see? Nothing happens. But if I right click, I get a list of all of my block groups. There's blocks one. So I've only got the one tab in blocks one, you'll see. There it is there. So that's my blocks tab in my blocks one group there. If I right click again and just show all palettes, it goes back to the default view and you'll see that blocks is at the top there. If I want to export either a group or a palette, I just right click on the title bar, go to customize palettes again, and I can right click on a palette an export as an XTP file and put that anywhere I want to. I can also slide up here. There's my blocks one group. I can also export a group if I need to. And that's an XPG file, not an X palette file. Yeah, it's a palette group. It's got the G at the end. So I'll just cancel that there. Close that. Close the palettes. And that's how you export your tool palettes should you need to.